Without foot straps, our feet can move around and be placed in many different spots on the board. This versatile nature of riding strapless means we can always have our feet in just the right place to make the most of the actions we are taking. So let's look at some of the key ways in which you should place your feet to help with our riding, but also so we can reference them easier later throughout these videos. Front foot position. Getting your front foot into the correct position is key. Front foot, front to back. When riding wave strapless, you may need a slightly wider stance to ensure you can keep your weight forward over the wider midsection of the board. If your board has foot strap inserts, then you can start with your foot positioned around where the front foot foot strap would be placed. Every board is different, so use this as a guide, and then as you get more experienced, you can play around with shifting your weight a little further forwards or backwards and see the effect. A single centimeter either way will make a noticeable difference. Foot position, side to side. With no foot strap and a board that is far wider than the length of your foot, there are several ways you can place and angle your foot. Where this is depends on what you're doing. It may be closer to the rail and more angled, giving us far better ability to edge, but harder to move from rail to rail. Or dead center and square, allowing good edge to edge control without the extreme edging ability. We'll cover the best options for this type of foot placement in the various technique and trick videos. Overall, once you've found the position lengthways that works for your body and board, you'll not move around a great deal in this direction. Whereas you'll want to be tweaking your side to side foot position more often during a session. Back foot position. Due to the nature of riding a surfboard with your weight over your front foot, it's relatively easy to shift your back foot around quickly to change the control and maneuverability of your board. You're mainly moving your back foot forwards and backwards. You may have it as far forwards as this, great in lighter winds for maximum efficiency when riding upwind, or as far back as possible jammed up against the back of the tail pad, giving you maximum control of the board's maneuverability and power. Generally, somewhere in between will be the most comfortable spot for getting going and cruising upwind, normally at the front of the tail pad. A very important point to take in, when we say get your foot right to the back of the tail pad, we mean right back. Wiggle it back and jam it up against the foam at the back of the pad. This is not at the back of the pad, this is. The difference of a centimeter at this point of the board will make a big difference. This can make proper powered carving turns far, far easier to learn. If you like this short excerpt, then you may like some of our other videos or subscribe to our YouTube channel. Progression Kite Surfing, learn to ride waves the right way.